folks, welcome to Coffee and Colossians on Tuesday uh, here in Scotland in Kippen today. And uh, we are continuing this just this marvellous idea of what it is to be a Christian, living as those made alive in Christ. And we are at verse 3 of chapter 3 of Colossians. For you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. Well, you stop and think about how profound that is. You died. Now, where do we die? We died on the cross with Christ. We were buried with him in baptism. We are raised and so on. So he carries this idea of becoming Christian is dying to yourself and dying with Christ and then being raised to life. And this life is a hidden life. Now, that's a fascinating thing because... The old life's over, the new's begun, that's what we call regeneration or being born again. Then we have union with Christ, but this is hidden. Now, why is it hidden? Because it's hidden from man's observation. We, we don't walk around with a, you know, a, a great holy glow or a mark on our foreheads that say that we belong to Christ. The church is not hidden, but the church is weak and imperfect. And I think... Um, we need to think about the fact that the strength that we have is really a hidden strength. Now, perhaps also there's this idea of security. Hide me in the shelter of your wings. Perhaps outwardly we may look weak and vulnerable, but we have a strength that comes from us being hidden with Christ in God. Perhaps it also includes purpose, this sense of the purpose of your life is Christ, Christ who is your life, verse 4, when, when he appears. We'll look maybe more at that tomorrow. But it's what we live for. But it's this idea, I think I like this idea of Christ being a shelter in the storm and also the hidden life, a hidden inner strength that comes to us. Now, I want to show you a clip of a film called The Hidden Life. Um, it's an extraordinary film. It's one of the most beautiful films I've ever seen. I love Terence Malick anyway. Uh, but when I heard that Terence Malick was doing uh, a film about the Nazis, and in particular about an Austrian farmer who resisted the Nazis... I just, I couldn't wait. And as soon as it came out, I went, I think, to the cinema in Newtown and just sat, for me, what was one of the most intense experiences of my life. So I'll tell you what I'll do. Um, I'll stop there and we'll, you know, have a look at this film. I want to say something about it just afterwards. So have a look at the trailer for this film. We won't look, obviously, we won't look at the whole film. Here's the trailer. Remember the day when we first met? I remember that motorcycle, my best dress. You looked at me and I knew how simple life was then. <laughs> Some people raiding other countries, preying on the weak. If our leaders, if they're evil, what does one do? You have a duty to the fatherland. The church tells you so. You cannot say no to your race and your hope. You are a traitor. I can't swear loyalty to Hitler. I can't. Do you think your defiance will change the course of things? Yeah, no! If God gives us free will, we're responsible for what we do, what we fail to do. I can't 
do what I believe is wrong. We have to stand up to evil. Whatever you do, I'm with you always. If you haven't seen it, you have to go and see it. It's the most moving film and the most profound film and just incredibly Christian. So here's this simple Austrian farmer who gets strength from his relationship with Christ to stand up to an absolute tyrannical force. I think there's a real message for all of us there. Our life is hidden with Christ in God. We don't need to be afraid. But also, we have strength to resist the tyrannies of this world and the temptations of sin. It's that hidden inner strength. Your life, you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. Well, I hope that's true for you, and I hope that you're knowing his presence today, wherever you are. May God bless you, and uh, see you tomorrow.